Okay, hi everyone. Um, I am going to take you through the process of um, using PowerPoint actually as a, um, a tool to do compositional studies for your simple shape um, compositions, both symmetrical and asymmetrical. Um, and you can use this as a tool for both your in-class exercise and your um, assignment uh, 1A as well, um, which um, you'll be doing for homework. Um, the first step, you can see that I have PowerPoint open. You all should have access to PowerPoint through Microsoft. Um, and let's see, so we're going to go to blank presentation. I'm going to click on that. I, um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit create here. Um, for whatever reason, these end up coming up on my computer. Come on. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure why that is. That's okay. Um, and I'm going to just enlarge this. So this is what comes up. Um, I'm going to just simply click on these boxes to get rid of them. Um, so I have a nice clean area to, um, to use. Imagine this as a page in your sketchbook, right? Or a big piece of paper um, that you can that you can use. If you want more room, um, you can go ahead and do a new slide, uh, you know, as many as you want, um, or as many as you feel like you need. Uh, for now, we're just going to use this one. Uh, the first step is to go ahead and make your compositional field, which in our case for the in-class exercises is going to be a four inch by four inch square. Um, ultimately, we want that square just to have a black outline and sort of a white fill, right? A white surface. Um, I'm going to go up to shapes, right? Which is where I'm really going to be using the shape menu for this whole process. Um, so click on that. I'm going to go to the square or the rectangle um, option and just click down once. Um, that way I can go ahead and enter my own dimensions right up here, right? You'll see this is selected, so its dimensions show up right here in the corner, uh, the right corner, the top right corner. Um, I'm going to just backspace and manually enter four inches by four inches and hit, hit return on my keyboard. Um, this is blue, right? That'll be the probably the default. Um, I, you'll see here I have a shape fill. And then I have um, a shape outline, shape effects, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and change my shape fill to black. I'm going to say for outline, no outline. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. Sorry, let's go back. Shape fill, what did we say before? White, okay. Um, and for the shape outline, I do want to have that be black, okay. And so we're good to go here. Sorry about that momentary blip in my brain. Um, we can then go just drag this off, you know, further to the left side. So we have plenty of room. Um, and there is that. Um, that is your compositional field that you will be working, um, composing within, okay, these boundaries. The next step is to actually go ahead and select the shapes that we're going to use, right, to create that composition. We have a white background here. And so all of our shapes that we make are going to be black. They're going to be a black fill with no outline. For the in-class exercise, which is that first one that you'll be doing, um, the list of shapes is two squares, two triangles, and one circle. So those are the ones we need to make. Um, two squares. Um, I can either go here and just click and change my shape fill here to black, my outline to none. I can also copy and paste this and just adjust that as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy either, con uh, if you have a PC, it's control C. If you have a Mac like I do, it's command and then letter C on your keyboard is copy. Um, and then command V or uh, control V for um, PC users, okay? Um, and I'm gonna just put a collect, you know, all my required shapes out over here in this space. 
I have these two. I can make them different sizes. I could make them the same size. We're not going to worry too much about size. Notice I just made this bigger. Um, I held down my shift key on my keyboard, very important. Um, and then I, I sort of hovered, oops, sorry, uh, hovered around here and then clicked down and held down and dragged either in and out. That assures me that I maintain, no matter where I pull it, I maintain that square dimension. If I do not hold down shift when I do that, right, when I do the corner, I will create a rectangle of, you know, whatever, you know, proportion here, right? And that's not good. So <laughs> um, if that happens, you can do Command or Control Z um, to go back and undo that. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep it like this for now. The next thing to do is to make two triangles. They don't have to be the same. They, you know, the same type of triangle. They don't have to be the same size, um, but they could, right? If you want them to. So if we go to back to our shape menu, I'm going to click on that. We have a limited choice of um, triangles here. We have either the isosceles triangle, which um, includes the equilateral triangle here. Equilaterals, all sides are the same length. Um, here we also have a right triangle, so you always have that right angle as one of your angles. And then, um, oh, I guess that's really an isosceles, but it's, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, not necessarily, because both of these don't have to be the same. Um, okay, so here's your right triangle. Here's your isosceles. We're just going to click on the isosceles for now. I will show you how to get whatever kind of triangle you want um, in a minute. So we're going to drag that out. We're going to go ahead back to the shape fill. We're going to click on the black, right? You can source that through here. Um, we're going to go to no outline right over here. And, and that should be that. Now, I'm going to show you, so right now, if notice this yellow box here, this yellow little tab is right in the middle of the distance, right? It's this distance of this length of um, the bottom side. Um, if I grab this, I, I click on it and hold down, I can drag that to one side or the other. I cannot drag it. It won't let me drag it past um, a right angle. Notice that. Um, so that's as far as I can drag it. So I, that allows me to change things a little bit, right, away from the isosceles, but not wherever I want to, okay? Um, if I want to make whatever kind of triangle I want, and I want total control, um, and, you know, anyway, I can go ov way over here, right, to the left. Notice I'm on shape format here. Um, I can go to edit shape, okay? I'm gonna click on that. Um, I'm gonna to go to edit points. That will allow me to move the three points, either any of those points or all of those points, wherever I want to. So I'm gonna click on that edit points. I then can hover over here and I can grab this and move this wherever, okay? Um, which is a, is a really nice tool. So I'm going to leave this, I'm going to click off of this, right, just onto blank space, and I'm, I'm finished with this one. Um, let's just go back to shape, um, the shape tool, or the shape menu. I'm just going to do an isosceles triangle and leave it at that for right now. I'm going to click on black, shape fill. I'm going to do no outline, boom, right? So I have my two triangles here. Um, and what else do I need? One circle. So I go to my, right here, here's the circle. It's, it's an oval tool actually. So it's not going to make a perfect circle. It, actually, if I click once on it, it will. So I click here, select it. And if I click and don't drag out on my, um, on my surface here, um, of my document, I should be able to make a circle, a perfect circle. So I can just do that, and the default is, again, you can see it's one inch by one inch. That's fine for right now. I'm going to go back to Shape Fill and just click on this because it's black across here. And then Outline, get rid of it, so no outline, and we're good to go. Now, again, if I want to change the size of this, make it bigger or smaller, I hover over this selected corner, 
Um, and in order to not change it from actually being a circle, I have to hold down my shift key on my keyboard as I click and hold and drag this out or in. Okay, if I don't have that shift key down, it'll you know just make it some random um, oval or ellipse, okay, as we would more formally call it. Um, I think I'll make it a little bit smaller for right now, so I'll hold down shift and I just drag it in. Um, and now I have the one, you know, the what five shapes that I need to start to compose in this area. I'm going to stop um, this screencast right now, and then I'll pick up in, a, in another one in a minute, okay, of the next steps.